Now, last time we spoke, we talked about the importance of the Yellow Crazy Ant Eradication Program. It's up and running and the results are spectacular. So we're three years into a 10 year program, cleaned up the bulk of it, and the pro program's going much better than I could have imagined it was. Now we need funding to continue this job. State and federal government got to continue with this. We've got industry support, we've got community support got to finish this job. It's a mop-up operation now, cleaning up the stragglers and the communities behind us and we're so happy it couldn't have gone any better. But we need support to continue this. We can't afford to have a delay in the treatment. We've got, the, got our foot on the throat of this thing now, let's finish this job, eh? Yes, Frank, we've really made massive progress with the Yellow Crazy Ant Eradication Program. We've got still a long way to go, but the, unfortunately the, the money's running out and all this effort will be wasted. But I think the one big thing about this program that really makes it stand out is how much it's supported by the community, whether it's uh, the sugarcane industry, whether it's the tourism industry, even pest controllers and local landowners. They're just on board and um, they can see the benefits. And if we don't um, succeed, we're going to let everyone down. So we just need to finish the job. We don't want to make sure all these highly qualified people in the project team don't lose their jobs and we actually get rid of the yellow crazy ants once and for all.